In this tutorial, we will learn about patterns. We will learn rectangular, circular and pattern on path. To create a rectangular pattern, we will create one object by clicking on rectangle. Select the plane and we will create rectangle from center. Click the center point and create one rectangle. Stop sketch and extrude. We will extrude by distance of 10. Okay. Then we will create one hole here. For that we will click on sketch circle center diameter circle. We will select this top line and we will create one circle. Stop sketch and we will create hole from it using extrude. Click inside the circle, drag it down. Okay. For this hole, we will create one rectangular pattern. Click on create pattern, rectangular pattern. Then, if you have a circular hole, then it can be easily picked by using faces. Click inside the face, then click here on directions, select and give your first direction. I will select this line. It will automatically select the other direction, normal to first direction. And if you want second direction to be different, then we will have to select one more object. Suppose I will keep it at 90 degree to first direction. Then here you will have to specify the quantity. Suppose quantity is 4. Then here you will have to give the distance. Now this distance is, right now it is spacing. Here you can specify two type of distance. You can specify extent that is the total length or you can give gap between two objects that is spacing. I will select this spacing. Then here give the spacing. How much you want? Suppose I want it to be 20. Then to specify parameter in other direction click on this arrow. Then give quantity in other direction. Suppose it is 4 and give the spacing in other direction. Suppose it is again 20. Now here 4 by 4 pattern is created. And if you don't want some instances, you can click on it and it will be removed. And if you want to bring it back, again by clicking on the squares, you can bring them back. And if you don't want to show these separation buttons, then by removing this stick, the separation buttons will be removed. You can also give quantity and distance from here. And if you want to go in opposite direction, then you will have to specify negative sign before the distance. Then it will go in opposite direction. If you remove the negative sign, it will come back to its original direction. We can also reverse the direction by using this arrow. Just click and hold and drag the mouse. It will change the direction. So using this arrow also, you can change the direction. Then in direction type, there is one more type is symmetric. If you select this symmetric, and for symmetric, if we have odd number, then it will give the correct effect. Now it has kept our object at the center and it has pattern on either side of our selected hole. In this way you can use symmetry. I will keep it one direction. Then quantity and distance for other direction can also be specified from here. And from here you can control the direction type for other direction. And click on OK. Your pattern will be created. Suppose we will create one more object here. Create one rectangle on this plane. Stop sketch. Then I will extrude it by the distance of 20. Enter. Now suppose I want to pattern this rectangle, but I want to pattern it in some angle. Suppose I want to pattern it in 45 degree angle. In that case, you will have to create one reference line at 45 degree angle. For that I will click on this line, I will select this surface and I will create one inclined line 
I will press tab to specify the angle. So I will need to specify this complete angle and I want this angle to be 45. That means this complete angle will be 90 plus 45 that is 135 and enter or click and ok then escape then select this line and convert it to construction and click on stop sketch and again click on create pattern rectangular pattern now pattern type is faces for such type of object faces is not that much suitable because you will have to click multiple times for such type of object in place of faces you can use features and select feature here you want to pattern then again give direction 1 direction 1 I want like this for that at first click on this select here and select the direction now the direction 2 is in angle so I will select this line for direction 2 then you will have to specify the parameters here distance suppose distance is 25 I want it in on opposite side I will specify negative sign before the distance then to specify parameter in other direction click on this arrow then specify the quantity for other direction suppose I will keep it 3 only and specify here the distance suppose here distance is 25 again give the negative sign to reverse the direction and here your pattern is created in angle then when you select feature here compute option is get activated if you click here there are three options optimize identical and adjust for this optimize if you have higher number of quantity then you can use the optimize the identical means it will place the object as it is that means it will copy it as it is it will not use any other parameters for it and in adjust it will update the end conditions as you defined in your object while creating your object to see the difference between this identical and adjust you will create one more pattern click on ok here this pattern is created in angular format then for adjust and identical we will create one more object create one sketch on this vertical plane and we will draw spline fit point spline ok and we will draw a line from the end point of the spline we will track this point on stop sketch then we will extrude it extrude click inside this shape then give the distance we will give 20 and we want it on both side we will choose this symmetric ok then we will create one plane for that click on construct offset plane we will make plane parallel to this plane we will give gap of 100 ok then we will create one object on this plane we will create one circle on this plane here at this position stop sketch then we will extrude it select this circle reverse the direction and we want to extrude it up to this surface click here and select object and select this surface ok now we want to pattern the cylindrical portion create pattern rectangular pattern feature is already activated click on feature then for direction click here and select this direction then give the gap suppose I want the gap to be minus 30 so it will come on the opposite side and give the quantity I want quantity to be 5 and orbit it 
now we will keep this option identical and we will click on this ok so if you see it it has created an identical pattern so it kept this object as it is so it has not updated it as per end condition and if you want to update it as per end conditions for this object then we will edit this pattern double click on pattern feature here and in place of identical we will select this adjust and click on ok now in the case of adjust it has automatically adjusted it using the end condition so that is the difference between identical and adjust then next pattern is circular pattern suppose we will create one flange create one circle on this surface stop sketch we will extrude it give thickness of 10 ok and we will create one hole click on circle select this plane and create one circle then click on stop sketch then extrude click inside the circle drag this arrow to change the direction ok now we will pattern this hole click on create pattern circular pattern then select this face then click on select here for defining the axis now for axis you can click on this vertical axis here or you can click on circle or you can also click on this cylindrical surface suppose I will choose the cylindrical surface then define the quantity here suppose I want it to be 6 then from here you can define whether you want full pattern or pattern in some specified angle I will choose this angle now from here it is not taking the angle from here we will choose the angle then here you can specify the angle now here angle is specified as 180 degree it has created pattern in 180 degree and if you want pattern on the other side then specify negative sign before the 180 so it will create pattern on opposite side then if we check here you can also create one symmetric pattern if we choose this symmetric and so it will automatically create a symmetric pattern around your selected object so I will create it full and all the other options are same as we seen in rectangular pattern and if you want to pattern complete object or complete part then you will have to use the bodies and if you want to pattern in assembly then you will have to use this component option click on ok then next will be pattern on path for that again we will create one object on this surface from center we will create one rectangle stop speech extrude 10 enter then we will create one path click on sketch click on spline fit point spline select this surface and create one spline ok and click on stop sketch then we will create one rectangular hole here for that click on rectangle select this surface and create one rectangle from center click on stop sketch orbit it and we will create one hole click on extrude click inside the rectangle reverse the direction click on ok now this hole is created now our path is not visible to make it visible click here on arrow before the sketches and click on this bulb before the sketch tool so it will show the path 
then to create a pattern click on create pattern pattern on path then pattern type is features select here the feature this is extrude 2 then click here to select the path then select the path and specify the distance now here distance is extend I want to specify the spacing click here and select spacing and give the gap suppose gap is 20 then give the quantity here suppose quantity is 10 and here pattern is created now here object is placed as it is and if you want to orient it as per the path then for that you will have to click here and select path direction so it will orient it as per your path then from here you can control whether you want it symmetric or in one direction if your object is not on the start point then you will have to specify the start point by dragging this anchor even here and as we have chosen the feature so it is showing this compute option so these options are same as we seen in rectangular pattern and you can also suppress the holes if you don't need it or you can bring them back it is the same as we seen in rectangular pattern and click on ok so this path pattern is created and if you want to hide this path click on this bulb here it will hide the path that's all thanks for watching we will stop here